Okay, now in this phase, this is why we didn't have to trim our models. The software is going to approximate a good trim line based on the margination lines of all the teeth. It's going to come so many millimeters away. Up in your Tools, Preferences, right here, gingival, uh, Gingiva Trim Margin, 3 millimeters. In that spot, it gives us the opportunity to increase or decrease that number. I recommend you stick with three millimeters, okay? I think that's the uh, sweet spot, if you will. So I'm not going to change that. That is the default. And I can move these around a little bit as I wish to try and make it the best final trimmed model. Truthfully, very little adjustment is needed, but that's about it. I like to have this area nice and rounded. This is, helps with printing, so if you can have it kind of a, a peak up here towards the incisive papilla, that will help your print predictability. Okay, now I can say, I'm going to click right here on Trim. It's going to cut away all the excess and then rebase the models to our predetermined height up in the preferences. Also, be aware that you can always reset the trimming if you don't like it, if it turns out to not look the way you want it. But I will, sh as you can see here, it's usually pretty darn good. Not really much to complain about. It's such a simple process that it does a great job for us. Okay, now that is complete. We can go ahead and click to continue to mandible. Once again, it gives us a lot, an estimated line. And this is why I say three to four millimeters. If you have three to four millimeters, it won't fall off the edge. But we only have about two to three millimeters, so sometimes it falls off. No biggie, we can fix that real quick. All right. Again, I like to have this part kind of stick forward. That helps with printing. You don't want a horizontal area. It almost creates like a flat bridge, and it can be tricky for printing. And that's it. Hit Trim. Okay, and so we're all done with this. This model is nice and cleaned up as well. Super ideal for 3D printing. And we will continue to the uh, tooth moving phase.